Okay, so it's today 8 o'clock in the morning and I am just on my way. I'm standing right in front of my door. This is where I live and I'm going to go grocery shopping today. So let's go. Okay, so here I'm at the entrance. This is the co-op. This is one of like the biggest grocery store chains in Switzerland. Okay, so I'm inside the co-op now. I'm talking kind of quietly because I just feel a bit ridiculous talking to myself. They're actually changing it around a lot. Um, like it's being refurnished and stuff. If you look up here, you can't see it. There's actually like a restaurant right up here where you can go up and like have food and stuff. So this is actually pretty new. Like they're just, they took over another shopping center from before and now they're just remodeling everything. Okay, this thing is kind of funny. Um, this is one of those like card readers. You have a shopping card like this that comes from the store and then you can play, you can like play games on here and stuff to win, I don't know, you can win free stuff. Or for example, if you buy something and you're not sure how much it costs, then you can pick it up and then you put it here and then it'll tell you the exact price. So that's like really, it's like a price checker. Okay, so this part of the store, you can like buy cheap clothes. Like you can buy jeans, for example, for 40 Swiss francs. You can see the price, 39. So that's really cheap. Or you can buy really sexy underwear like this. Or, I don't know, you can even buy like, I don't know, underwear and stuff like that. And this is also usually pretty inexpensive, um, but also not very stylish. Here we have a wall of socks. So if you want to buy socks, you've got tons of selection here. This is a whole aisle, just socks. So it's a bit ridiculous. I mean, how many bloody socks could you want to buy? Okay, so here we are in the juice and snacks aisle. This is all juice over here. And then here you have chips. So you can even get organic chips if you want. These are organic chips. Um, or these are like different kinds of chips. These are wasabi. really like these ones actually. And then we've got regular chips over here and then more chips over here. And I'm kind of hiding from the staff because I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to film over here. <laughs> okay, and here's all beer. You can zoom in. Look, we have William Tell beer, <laughs> which is like really cheap stuff. Or these are really, really cheap beers as well. Um, or just other kinds. I mean, there's some American beer as well. Okay, but people are looking at me strangely because I'm talking on a freaking wall of beer. Okay, so over here is the alcohol section. So in Switzerland, you can buy alcohol at the grocery store. So um, this is all wine. So it starts here, pretty much, and then goes all the way down there. And then you keep going over this side and then there's more wine. So people in Switzerland are big wine drinkers. Not so much beer. I mean, you saw how small the beer selection was in comparison to wine. So this is all wine. Just like a whole part of the store is dedicated to wine and it just keeps going down here. I can show you that really quickly. Here's more wine. <laughs> so, and here we have some American type of wine, and we have wine from pretty much all over the world. Look at this, we even have here some, um, um, what's that guy's called? Christian Odigier, you know, the guy who makes the, um, those hats and stuff? So, they make wine as well. Apparently now it's like the latest marketing thing. Okay, you can see a bottle of wine from Christian Odigier. And then here you can buy like whole boxes of wine. If you don't want to just buy single bottles, you just buy one of these. And they usually contain contain six bottles. So that's usually a bit cheaper. Sometimes they're on sale. So yeah, anyone can buy wine. I think up, you have to be um, 16 years or over to buy wine. And then to buy hard liquor like vodka or stuff like that, you have to be 18 years old. Okay, so here we are now in the dairy section. Now Switzerland is a huge fan of all products dairy because that's just traditional. So this is all yogurts. So as you can see in Switzerland there's like a huge selection of flavors of yogurts. Pretty much this whole aisle is yogurts. So it's pretty crazy like um, for example this one. This one is like uh, strawberry coconut or I don't know, the Greek style yogurt. 
see that guy? He just looked at me like it was crazy. <laughs> okay, so here we are in one of my favorite aisles, which is all cheese. So the cheese starts like down here and then goes, this is all cheese. And it goes all the way over there. And then as you can see that woman is standing there. This is um, open cheese. So you can say, you know, which kind of cheese you want and then she'll cut you down a piece. And then there's more cheese over here. So, as you might have realized that Switzerland is really big on cheese, obviously. So, let's see, I can show you maybe some typical Swiss type of cheese, like this one. This is called Appenzeller. This is like a very, very traditional type of Swiss cheese. Or this one, which is the one that most people will know. As the, this is the one with the holes in it. So, in North America, they call this Swiss cheese. But it's actually called Emmentaler, because as you can see, Swiss cheese has tons of varieties. So this is Emmentaler, it's the typical cheese with the holes in it that people usually associate with Switzerland. Um, okay, and then here you have like soft cheeses. Some of these are from Switzerland, some of these are French. Um, I really like this one, it's one of my favorites. It's very, very aged cheese, like it's one of those really stinky ones. This one is really good too, Le Rustique, I like that one. Or this one is really good as well. But these are these are pretty expensive. Like this thing of cheese, it's um, this is 250 grams of camembert, but it's like an aged camembert, but this one costs seven francs 30. So it's about seven dollars for this much cheese. So, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's really, really good quality. This is a good one too. This is a French type of cheese. So these are kind of all the soft cheeses. Okay, and this is all fresh produce. So there's a really, really big selection as you can see. And the quality is very, very good. Um, produce in Switzerland is very good quality, but it's also kind of expensive. For example, here is like white peaches. These are white peaches. So here is always the price and it's always per kilo. So this is 4 francs 50 for a kilogram of peaches. So what you do is if you want to buy fruit, you get one of these plastic bags and then you put the fruit in there, however much you want. And then you have this scale here that has like these numbers on it and then you would push the number of whatever fruit corresponds so if all, the, all the prices have the number on it. So then you push the number. Um, like for example this fruit here, and then you put it on here and you push the number and then the tag comes out and that's going to have the price of the fruit on it. So then at the checkout, the lady doesn't have to know all the codes. It'll have the price directly written on the fruit. Okay, so here I'm in the fresh um, bread area. So there's actually the bakers back there you can see. They don't, they don't make the bread from scratch here, but they get like the dough and then they bake it in the ovens here. So the bread, the fresh, the fresh, um, the bread is pretty fresh, but it's also, yeah, there's lots of selection again as you can see. Okay, and then here is like toast, but people don't really eat this stuff as much. Like this is like the traditional kind of bread that you would find in North America, just like the toast bread. But people don't really eat kind of that bread here. I mean, they do have it obviously in their variety, but it's not really as popular as the fresh bread. Okay, unfortunately I didn't get to film like the chocolate. I really, really wanted to show you guys the chocolate aisle and like the meat and fresh fish and stuff like that because that's kind of like a really cool section. Especially the chocolate, you guys would just be going crazy. There's like I think two or three aisles just dedicated to Swiss chocolate. So I didn't get to film that unfortunately because they made me stop filming. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I'll go back someday and film that so you guys can see all the different kinds of varieties we have. Okay, well, stealth mission seems to be over. Um, I just got kicked out of the store <laughs> because apparently you're not, you're not allowed to film in there, which I kind of knew anyway. But um, I guess I'll try and be a bit more stealthy next time or something. <laughs> um, I'm back at home. I can walk home from the store, so I'll just show you quickly um, where I live. So it's just these big buildings. I live in the last one down there, so it's really convenient. I can just walk. Um, to the grocery store. So that is it for our stealth mission to the grocery store. Um, maybe I'll do it again sometime. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Although I just don't think I'm allowed to film in most stores, so I don't know to do it some other way. So hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you later. Bye.